Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Navigator panel. So the Navigator is basically a little map. So here we put something here in the corner, and then we're over here, and we're going to zoom in really far using pinch to zoom. We're going to pan over to the side, and we're going to twist a little bit. And what you can see is over here in the corner, I can see the viewport is at an angle. And over here to the side, if I want to get right back over here, then what I can do is I can drag this over. If I want to reset the rotation, I can click right here. And that'll help me find where things are in the canvas. It helps with perspective. This is great for a number of different things. If you are doing artwork and you need to flip the canvas, you can click this little icon right here in the corner, flip. This is Shift F, it's the keyboard shortcut. If you need to fit back to the screen, you can click right here. This is Control plus zero, and reset to 100% is right there. Now we're going to reset and clean the entire canvas with the delete key. So now our canvas is blank, and we're going to put another X right here on the screen. Let's choose uh, another color as well, something a little bit easier to see. Bring the size up. All right, so now we have an X and a circle right here in the center. And with this, we can increase zoom with plus or equal. We can also use control plus and control equal. So we can bring this up. You can go as high as 2000%, which is uh, very, very zoomed in. So in Rebel 5, something that you'll notice is that the canvases now have an option for very, very high resolution, incredibly realistic scans. So let's take a quick look at that. So I'm going to choose one that has a lot of texture here. So let's use Yucca Rough, this is EX29. And let's increase the canvas scale. This dropped a little lower for my personal use. And what you're gonna see is there's a lot of texture. There's, uh, it's a multicolored canvas, which means that it's not gray or white. It's all these different things that are part of that natural media that you're used to working with. These scans include texture, that affects how watercolor flows, the diffusion on the screen. Now in Rebel 5 Pro, you have the option of using the Nano Pixel option. And what this does is this enables those extremely high resolution scans. This allows you to print in a way that makes your digital media look very, very similar to traditional media. So having the ability to go all the way up to 2000% and being able to export. We have file, nanopixel export. These options in the navigator make zooming and panning going in and out so much more important. So let's go ahead and click back to fit to screen. If we wanna turn this image grayscale, we can hit G which will turn it grayscale. You'll find this also in the context menu here. Control Alt Left and Control Alt Right will incrementally rotate the canvas. You can adjust that property here in preferences at locking angle is set at 15%. If you want it to rotate further with those buttons, you can set that right here. And you also have the option of choosing canvas, zoom at cursor, rotate at cursor, and flip at cursor rotate it cursor, let's demonstrate that. So what that means is when you're rotating, it's gonna be based off of where your fingers are on the screen. It's a really cool feature. Now, when the screen, the canvas is flipped, you're gonna notice that this icon is blue, letting you know which one is the original orientation. So let's click it back. This is reset. To see the keyboard shortcuts for any of these, we can go over here, keyboard shortcuts, and look at view, and you'll see them right here to the right. All right, that's everything for the Navigator panel. If you have questions or comments, put it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.